Good morning, welcome to Nick's Community Kitchen. Um, we're going to do a series of small videos to help pass the time in these difficult times and I'm going to give you some ideas about how to use your leftover food um, so we're not wasting any food and we, we have something tasty. So today I thought we had to start with something Cornish and this was a favourite of my granny's. Uh, those of you that know her restaurant, my grand's food is quite an influence. Um, and this was a, basically a leftover pasty. Um, what we used to use is all of our breakfast goods. So down on the, on the bench I've literally just got some hogs pudding, some sausages, tomatoes, and I'll show you how to make a really quick pasty pastry. Um, the trick to this one, it's so easy, is half fat to flour. You do not need to weigh this, just, just guess, it will work. Um, butter is fine, veg is fine, uh, margarine is fine, um, but butter is always, always the good one. So just normal plain flour, just literally roughly. So the whole idea of these little series is do it with your children, have some fun. Um, I've washed my hands. Right, sorry, I should have said that first. Everybody wash your hands, but I've washed my hands. Um, you do need your fingers for this one, so it is a bit of fun for the children. Um, if you can do it, don't, don't use a machine. The, pa the pastry will be better if you can do it by hand. So literally get your fingers in and just crumb the flour the same as you would with a sort of cake mixture. Um, just, it will turn a sandy texture. This will take a couple of minutes, uh, but this is this is the bit of fun, okay? So you could you could have multiple fingers in here if you've got a few children. Uh, probably if you a bag of flour, you, it's a couple of hundred grams of flour, hundred grams of butter would do probably four pasties, something like that. Uh, so, so a, a bag of flour in the cupboard would, would, do, would do you for, for, for months. So just crumbing the flour, it doesn't need to be perfect. The butter will melt in the oven so you get this really crumbly nice pastry. So if you can see it, you can just literally see the flour's dropped, the butter's dropped out of the flour and you've just got this nice light crumb. If you wanted this to be vegetarian or vegan, it's absolutely no problem as well. Use any of the vegan spreads. And I'm about to add some milk, but simple, just a simple piece, a bit of water is fine. Okay, so again, I'm not going to give you measurements on purpose. Just, just by eye, and li little and often, just add some milk. Alright, and then just knead it together. And you'll see the, the butter will start to, um, to sort of melt again, and you just bring it together. Because we're using our hands and not a machine, the pastry doesn't shorten. Shorted, shortened pastry is very hard to roll. So, again, with children, this one's really easy because you can feel it. So there you go. So you've got, a, got your pastry. You'll notice it's a little bit wet, but that's good because we're going to add the flour to roll it. So there's our dough. Just going to quickly clean my hands. So the ingredients literally can be anything you like. Cooked bacon can be raw as well. But leftover breakfast bits. So I've got some hogs pudding and I'm literally just going to chop that up. I've got some sausages and I thought of this because I thought a lot of mums yesterday hopefully would have had breakfast cooked for them so there's quite probably this is in your fridge and uh, in these times where money is going to be tight and we, we need things to do I thought we could get a whole other meal out of yesterday's breakfast. So just a nice dice. I'll just 
just got some old potatoes. Again, nice and rough and ready. Cut the potatoes the same size as the, as the sausage, so everything cooks at the same time. All right, so that really, I have got a onion somewhere. No, I haven't got an onion. Um, so there you go, no onion, don't put it in. Right, so put this, put this mix in, back in your bowl. Here, I've got an assistant. We now have an onion. Onion. Thank you, Bobby. Right, the onion will make it taste nice. If you haven't got one, it really doesn't matter. But um, it will taste nice. So again, really simple. Just chop your onion, take your time. All right, there's a bit of onion. Okay, salt and pepper. Remember with the pasty, because of the um, the potatoes and the flour, you, you, you over season because the starches will, um, will counteract the seasoning. Right, in this one, we've all got the odd egg. I'm going to crack an egg. So we do literally have a breakfast, a breakfast filling for our pasty. I'm just going to quickly mix that together. And there's that mix. So we've literally just got potato bits, all your leftover bits from your uh, from yesterday's breakfast. You could do this with chicken, you could do this with bacon, you could do it with fish, literally anything you want. So, roll in the pastry. You don't want this to be too thin. Okay, so quick clear down. Okay, so a little bit of flour, your pastry. Just break it into into balls. So if you're doing, if there's a family of four, simply do do your four balls. All right, no rolling pin at the start. Just create the shape with your hand. Again, if you've got your family there, you can do one each. All right? If you don't have a rolling pin, I'm sure mum's got a spare bottle of wine. All right? <laughs> Put a bottle of white wine in the fridge, that creates a really good rolling pin. Right, so I'll just do the couple. Then with your rolling pin, just straight lines and turn. Straight lines and turn. Okay, don't worry, it doesn't need to be exactly round. Alright, so there you go. Big, small, whatever size pasta you want. Um, now, take your mix, place your mix in the just off center, all right? And you want probably, a, you know, half a thumb length around the, the, the mix to be able to crimp the pasty. If you are gonna do huge pasties, I would really recommend putting the pastry on the tray. Little tip for us, it's really hard to get them get them off. All right, so you're just off center. Fold it over. And just literally, I and then finger and thumb over and under. All right. There's our pasty. So, onto a piece of baking parchment. Uh, again, use this, don't throw it away. You can use this multiple times. If you don't have any baking parchment, 
And to be fair, my granny used to do this. Flour the tray on the tray. All right? A little splash of your milk. Don't need pastry brushes, don't need anything fancy. And then a little hole. Now the hole is quite important because basically we've created a steamer. All right, so that, that's gonna go in the oven for one hour at about 180. All right, but it needs an hour. When it comes out of the oven, give it at least 20 minutes because it will taste better because it will steam. So, thank you Bobby. <laughs> There's our finished pasty. You know what our guys are having for lunch today? All right. Exactly as we said, an hour in the oven. It's been sat for about 20 minutes. The potatoes are nice and soft. You got your sauces and your bits and pieces in there. Um, that's today's community kitchen. Enjoy.